All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nite. the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Dollar Bill. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our Ready. referee for this one. Ready. Do it. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. to the body by Lee. Stig and kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Hands high, hands high. And the strike lands clean. So more output, at least in the early going. Nice execution on the team. Oh, he's got his back. Now he's got to start trying to drag him to the ground. Then he can look for submission. Sidekick. Good jab. Oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs for him there. He's got the reach advantage. And that certainly helped him in that exchange. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. 
Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Now lands a kick to the body. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Big power shot there. Oh, nice. Oh, he didn't like that one. Hook to the head there by Lee. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. 90 seconds to go. Oh, there's a big overhand. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Snapped off the jab nicely there. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in front hand. Beautiful left hand counter. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. 30 seconds to go. Inside leg kick is there by Lee. Oh, big punch land. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Landing seconds here of this opening round. Next. Take a seat. Deep breath. Or relax. Take a drink of water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. 
Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp. Cat pounce, that's what cat pounce. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. This pace is just absurd, he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Big right hook there by Champ. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Devastated body kick land. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Again going back to the jab just out of range. Clean hook there. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Under two minutes to go. Oh, how good is that jab by Lee? Oh, back and forth we go. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. He's got the hand speed. Right. Strike lands clean. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on a fight. It all comes together. Leg kick. And now that jab starting to get established. One minute now to go round two. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. job to block that punch. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. And that was a solid kick. Misses with the left hook. Final seconds here. Stop, stop, stop. All right, man, listen to me. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to go out there and I want you to take him down and put him on his back. Control the fight on the ground. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Good jab there by the champion. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, 
Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Nice counter left hook to the head. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh! Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last one. Just misses with the right. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Right hand good on the counter. And a miss with the right hook. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by Lee. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh, nice kick. Both guys appeared to land there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Takedown defense holds up. In the half guard. Under two minutes to go in round three. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. And there you go, again, half guard. Lands with the ground and pound. Both fighters get up now. Oh, and the high kick lands. Good body shot there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to paint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Under a minute now to go. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Oh, he's got his back. He needs to try to lift to return to the mat so then he can try to chase the mission. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. He's a warrior, so he's going to just try to go forward and try to finish, but his leg is destroyed. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a Ready bit lax in the defense, Ready. and now he's Ready. got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. 
Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, nice technique on the sidekick. You don't learn that overnight. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Clean with the right hook. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Well, despite his corner's best intentions, he hasn't made the requisite adjustment. He continues to eat upper leg kicks on that thumb. He's got to switch his stances. The problem with switching your stances is everything doesn't work as well on the end. Oh! Huge right hand! He's hurt now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight, Corn. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Nice block. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. to the target. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Tags him with the uppercut. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Pretty pinpoint left hand right there. And that spinning kick found its home up top. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, he's got his back. he got to isolate a hip to try to break that lock. Breaking the lock is step number one to escape. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Beautiful strike. Every time he gets battered to the body, I know how tough he is, but really don't want to take too many more of those. I mean, even us, we're grimacing like, ah, how many more can this guy take? He cannot continue to take these body shots. It looks as though we're getting very close to a body shot finish. 15 seconds. Effective strike there by Lee. the 
round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Beautiful head kick lands for this guy. Landed a solid punch there. Man, has he been masterful on the feet this evening. He's really utilized that jab to perfection. You see the numbers at the bottom of the screen. He might land 100 jabs tonight. Absolutely incredible. Oh, doing work with the jab. Right hook to the head block. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. All right, well, fatigue is certainly a factor here down the stretch. He is losing the fight. He is completely out of hands. I mean, he's been outclassed. He's taken so much damage. He threw everything he could to try to survive. But now he's completely out of air, and it's only a matter of time. Superman punch lands! Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Liver kick. Oh, that kick to the body is there again. He's been there all night. But elbow! Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands close to the head. Up. Tremendous toughness as he eats yet another body shot. This feels pretty critical at this point in time. I wonder if the corner's thinking about getting involved. Somebody needs to. Somebody needs to get in there and stop this fight. This fight is over. Your fighter has been beaten. He's not going to win. Now it's about long-term damage. How do you avoid and allow for this guy to continue forward after this fight? He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on. Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my God! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and 